Fusion 360 is a modern, easy to learn and use, fully parametric, capable modeling software that sits in the product design and manufacturing industry. What we want to do as part of this series of videos is really try and show you maybe some things that you didn't know inside of Fusion 360, or maybe some things that you didn't realize that Fusion 360 could bring to your day-to-day -day workflows. Today we're focusing on parametric modeling. So actually it's quite a, a known that Fusion 360 is a powerful parametric modeling platform. But what does that actually mean? What does that mean to yourself as a designer? What does that mean if you're out there using another popular 3D parametric tool in the manufacturing space? Well, simply put, whatever we model inside of Fusion 360, whether it's a very simple square-based component like what I've got on the screen here, or something more access, uh, accessible, no, that's the wrong word, something more um, aesthetical, there we go, that's got more curves to it. And we've got the ability to control it with intelligence from the get-go. So this component here, I've got a full history tree along the bottom. At any point, I can go back in time and look at any individual piece of that history and, uh, and pull it around and, and chop and change it as I go through the modeling process. I can go back to any one of those original sketches and show you that the dimensions have been put in place with intelligent parametric equations. It's simple maths at the end of the day, but we can make relationships between geometry um, and between other dimensions and other parameters within our file to make things happen more automatically. Simply put, I have an intelligent length and width of this component which is also linked to intelligent patterns of components. In this case, I've got a hole that's patterned across the, uh, the extrusion here, again, based on a parametric mathematical equation. That means that without having to modify any sketches or, or complex geometry, I can simply come into my parameters and make changes. I can change the width to be, uh, let's say, 890 millimeters, and the second I press enter, the model will update. Yes, that's because I've got automatic update turned on, but you can also turn that off if you want it to prompt you an update, maybe if you're going to do something that takes a little bit longer. Let's change the height as well to maybe just over a meter. And again, you can see that our um, model has updated in size, but more importantly, our perforations here have updated as well. So our pattern is correct, and we know that if we're sending that out to a CNC machine or a plasma to get cut or whatever it might be, um, we, can, we can be sure that that pattern has been updated correctly. Even going to update individual um, parameters, such as the size of the holes, um, it has a, an effect on the overarching size or, or number of holes on that pattern. Again, it is simple maths, but what we're doing is we're enabling you to use that from a parametric perspective, make those relationships and make your life easier. So Fusion 360 then supports a whole wealth of parametric modeling workflows, both in parts like this and in assemblies. It's quick to use, it has a modern interface and it works extremely well. Aside from that, it's ridiculously cheap for what it can do. Fusion 360 allows you to model what you're after quickly and easily with the same level of intelligence that you're used to inside of your existing CAD system.